Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. And you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Okay, so we are going to begin with our class. If you remember yesterday, we were introducing ourselves and also we explained positive adjectives. So, what do you remember about positive adjectives? Can you tell me? My Possessive adjectives are used to show possession. Okay. And what are the possessive adjectives that we have? My, okay, is um, your is air um, our it's there. Okay, excellent. So today we will continue talking about positive adjectives in English, and as I mentioned to you yesterday we are going to be practicing as well. There are some exercises that we are going to be doing this class and we are going to begin with the presentation, okay? So if you remember, as Francisco said, we use possessive adjectives to show ownership or possession, okay? Another thing that we mentioned and that it is really important is that we said that a, pos a possessive adjective will always be followed by a noun, okay? That's something that we discussed yesterday and we also studied some examples. If you remember, we read these examples and there are some other things that I want to share with you with these possessive adjectives, okay? So, we have the following information that is really important for you to know. Okay, so I need a volunteer. Do I have a volunteer? Okay, thank you. Can you read the first information that we have there, please? Right, well, I'll in English. They are always located directly. And of the noun, they refer to possessive adjective plus noun. Thank you, Alex. So you can see that this is the way that we are going to be using the possessive adjectives. So we're going to have, first of all, the possessive adjective plus a noun. Okay? The following information, let's see. Uh, Raquel, can you read it, please? An S to the adjective when to now when the noun is plural like in many other language languages okay thank you uh let's see the examples lazaro can you read them please our cars are expensive correct our cars are expensive incorrect okay thank you so as it is mentioned here, 
we are not going to include an S to the adjective when the noun is plural, like in Spanish, ¿ok? Cuando estamos hablando de adjetivos posesivos, nosotros no le incluimos una S al adjetivo cuando el nombre o el sustantivo está en plural, como lo hacemos en español. So, for example, in Spanish we say, mis libros, for example. Or we can also say, sus zapatos. We add an S to the possessive adjective in Spanish, but in English, as it said here, we're not going to do it, okay? En español probablemente nosotros lo hacemos para mostrar si es singular o plural, pero en el inglés eso es incorrecto. So you can see the example that says our cars are expensive, and you can see that the plural, it's on the noun. O sea, la S va a ir en el sustantivo, no en el adjetivo, okay? So if you say our scars are expensive, that is incorrect. Why? ¿Por qué sería incorrecto la segunda oración que tenemos en el ejemplo? Can anyone tell me? Because our is the letter S. Okay. Thank you, because we have ours with an S, and also because with the S is not a possessive adjective, but a possessive pronoun, okay? Ya aquí cambia lo que es el sentido o significado de la oración, porque deja de ser lo que es un adjetivo, y pasa a ser lo que es un pronombre posesivo, okay? Is that clear for you? Yes. Yeah. Any questions? No question. Okay. Okay, so let's see if that is correct. Okay, so I have here the following information. Let's see who is going to continue reading. Leslie, can you read it, please? Okay. Um, however, the verb that is used needs to be in agreement with the noun. If the noun is singular, then the verb is singular. If the noun is plural, then the verb is plural. Okay, thank you. Um, let me see. We're going to have Esmeralda. Can you read the first examples, please? Okay, example. My pen is black, singular. My pens are black, plural. Thank you. Only example or only one? Okay, continue with the next example, please. Okay. Our child is intelligent, intelligent, singular. Our children are intelligent, plural. Okay, excellent. So, as it says, if we are using a singular or plural, now, the verb needs to be in agreement, ¿ok? Si tenemos un sustantivo que es singular o plural, el verbo tiene que concordar con dicho sustantivo, ¿ok? So you can see, my pen is black. I'm just talking about one pen, ¿ok? That's why I'm using is. However, on the second sentence, it says, my pens are black. So... I need to use a verb in plural. In this case, is our. On the second example, you can see that it says our child is intelligent. Okay, ¿de cuántos niños estoy hablando? Uno. One. Uno. Okay, excellent. So, that's why I'm using is. On the second example, it says our children are intelligent. Aquí de cuántos niños estoy hablando? More than one. Mario. More yeah. than one. Excellent. That's why I'm using R. Is that clear for you? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Questions? No questions. Okay. 
And this is the last information that we are going to be studying before we go to the exercises, okay? So let me see. Uh, we're going to have um, Selena. Can you read the first information, please? Uh, a professor of the peer town ownership. Okay, thank you. Uh, Beatriz, the second one. Um, QR is the contradiction contraction of QR. Contraction of QR. is a possessive adjective. Okay. Uh, can you read this one more time, please? Beatriz? It is the uh, only here. Only here. Uh, your. Uh uh. Your. Your. Okay. Your is the contraction of of you as your. Your is a possessive adjective. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's see the next one, Daphne. The year is the contraction of the yard. The year is a possessive adjective. Thank you. And the last one, Samara. It is a. It is the contraction of it is. It is a positive adjective adjective okay thank you so this is really important for you to remember and as it says first of all a possessive adjective shows ownership that's something that we discussed yesterday and here we have the following even though the pronunciation is the same your your it's it's their and their and there, sorry, you can see that the difference is on the spelling. A pesar que aquí con estos, la pronunciación es la misma, la diferencia viene a ser la escritura. Okay? Is that clear? Yes. 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 Okay. Excellent. So let's work on the following exercise. Okay, just give me a few seconds and I'm going to show you the exercises that we are going to be working on right now, okay? Let me see where I have it. Okay, so here it is. Um, let me see how many people I have today. Okay, I have 12. So we are going to be working all together as a class. Okay? Okay. Okay. So you can see that here we have these exer exercises, these sentences, and we are going to begin with Selena, number one, please. So the boy likes our school. Our? Oh. Our, the boy lies our school. Okay, let me just put the instructions. Okay, uh, first of all, it says underline the subject in the following sentences and write the correct possessive adjectives. Okay, uh, 
since you're just seeing the sentences, what you need to do is to identify the subject. So, for example, on this one, I'm talking about the boy. Okay. Likes. I'm talking about the boy. Yeah. Which one? Yes. Ah. Yeah. His. 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 Okay, why his? His. 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 Porque se trata de él. Okay, excellent. So, first of all, we need to identify the subject, okay? So, we have the boy. I'm talking about he or him. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to use the possessive adjective that is for he, that is he. Yes. Excellent. Okay, let's see. Number two. Um, we're going to have Esmeralda. Mary sees uh, her mother every day. Hers or her? Her. Her. Okay. And who her is mother. the subject? Mary. Okay, excellent. Let's see. Number three. Um, Gerardo. My teachers bring her children to our place on Saturday. Okay, teacher or teachers? Teachers. Okay, so am I talking about whom? They. Ah, okay, excellent. I'm talking about them. So my teachers bring their. There. Okay, there are children to our place on Saturday. So let's be careful. We need to identify the subject and we need to see if it is singular, plural, and if it is plural, we need to identify if we're talking about you, we, or they. Okay, so number four, Francisco. The cat eats its food quickly. Okay, excellent. Why are you using it? Yeah, it's animal. Okay, perfect, because I'm talking about an animal. Okay, Jonathan, number five. Uh, I often forget my key. Okay, perfect. Uh, number six, Josue, Josue Mauricio. You write in my book in class. So I write in your book? Who is the subject on this sentence? Um, your? Okay, so can you read the sentence one more time, please? Josue? Hello? Yes, can you read the sentence one more time, please? Mm. You? Yes, you? Okay, so we said with number six, you write in your book in class, okay? So I'm talking about you and the possessive adjective that I'm going to use is going to be your as well, okay? Thank you. Sure. Okay. Okay, Jonathan, number seven. Uh, we bring uh, or bring. Bring. What is the correct pronunciation? Bring. bring. 
Oh, okay. We bring our pencils to class. Excellent. Number eight, uh, Brian. The man always bring his wives to the party. His? The man always bring his wives to the party. Okay, just look at the noun. Men, is it singular or plural? Plural. Ah, okay, excellent. It is plural. So, yes. Yes. the men always, always bring, bring their, their the men always bring their wives to the party. Okay, excellent. Their wives to the party. Perfect. Okay. Uh, number nine, Daphne. Mr. Adam teacher teaches his class in the morning. Perfect. Okay. Teaches his class in the morning. Alex, number 10. She likes to give presents to her grandchildren. To? To her grandchildren. Children. Okay, perfect. Um, 11, Tamara. They never do our homework. Our homework? Our homework. Or? Their homework. So ah, they okay. never do their homework. Excellent. And we have number 12. Uh, let me see. Selena. Um, Alex, sometimes wear heels, green shirt. No sé cómo se pronuncia eso, teacher. T-shirt. No, teacher. No, teacher. No. Teacher is the person. The sound. And on this one is shh. Like when you're... Cuando quieren hacer que hagan silencio, ¿verdad? Ok. And the other one. Como si estuviesen estornudando. Ok. He's green. He's green t-shirt. Ok. Thank you. Let's see. Leslie. We love our school. Excellent. Um, Beatriz. Uh, Carlos and uh, Joe play with our uh, sister. Carlos and Josh play. Yes. Uh, with, 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 okay. So they play with, with, uh huh. Yes. What is the answer? Uh, if I'm talking about them, what is the possessive adjective that I'm going to use? There. Ah, okay. With their sisters. Thank you. Raquel, 15. Yes, number 15. You always wear your uniform at the school. 
Okay, perfect. Um, let me see. Uh, 16. Let me see. Who am I missing? No one? Okay, so Leslie. Mm -hmm. I rarely walk to my school. Perfect. At 17, Tamara. I 17. Rarely, ah, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, we eat uh, um, or lunch at 12. Perfect. 18, Francisco. The bear always sleeps in its nest. Okay, perfect. 19. Um, let me see, Jonathan. She always forget, 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 sorry, forget, okay. She always forget her books in the cupboard. Okay. Perfect. And the last one, let me see, Josue Mauricio. They close. My books. Mm, okay, take a look to the subject pronoun. We have they. They. Okay, and what is the possessive adjective for they? They close. Our. Mm, no. Our is for we. Okay, do you remember what is the possessive adjective for they? They are. Okay, they are. Thank you. So let yeah. me just go back here. If you remember, that's something that we studied yesterday. That we explained that possessive adjectives in English will be the following. So for I, we said it is mm -hmm. my. You, your, he, his, his. she, her, her. It, 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 we, our, our. You, your, you, your, and they, they, they. Okay. So the last sentence, what was the answer? There. There. Okay, and do you remember what it said? ¿Se acuerdan lo que decía? No. <laughs> they close. They close uh, their, their, their books. books. Perfect. They, they close their books. Ya veo que tienen buena memoria. Okay, yeah, you can see. They okay. close their books. Their, their books. Book. Perfect. Okay. Easy, right? Yes. Si este hubiese sido el primer examen, ¿cuánto saca? Diez. Bien. Yes. Diez. Okay, excellent. Do you have questions about possessive adjectives? Or is it clear for you? Clear. To me, it's clear. Okay, excellent. Clear, teacher. Okay. Clear. Perfect. So I'm going to move to the next topic that we have on the platform, and that one is about WH questions with B. What do you remember about WH questions? Okay, they are also called information questions. What else? Mm 
Where are you from? Okay. Okay, where are you from is an example. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this is the video that we have on the platform. So I'm going to share it with you and then we are going to be explaining a little bit more about it, okay? By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask and answer questions with B using WH question words. What, who, where, when, and how. First, let's listen to an audio program and then we'll talk about it. WH questions with B. What's your name? My name's Beth. Where's your friend? He's in class. Who's son he? She's my classmate. What are your classmates like? They're very nice. Where are you and Luisa from? We're from Brazil. How are your classes? They're really interesting. When we use WH question words, we want to know more information. Therefore, your answer cannot be yes or no. It is necessary to know the meaning of each word so you know what you're being asked. This way, you will be able to give a correct answer. Okay, so that's the video about WH questions. And as it is mentioned, Where are you and Louisa from? We use them to get more information. So an example was the one you told me, where are you from? So if I ask, let me see who is the first one. La, uh, sorry, Gerardo, where are you from? I am from San Vicente. Okay, thank you. So you can see that he says that he is from San Vicente. He doesn't say, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Why? Because we need more information. And the way that we are going to structure WH question is the following. Who can tell me? ¿Cómo vamos a estructurar las WH questions? WH plus. Aha. Subject and complement. Subject and complement? Uh, and question there, mark. There be. Question mark. Ah, okay. Yeah, you probably I didn't listen to you that well, but some of you said the verb be. Okay, so we have information questions with be. And as you said, we are going to begin with the WH word, then the verb be, plus subject, and in some cases, we're going to have a complement, and as one of you mentioned, we need the question mark, okay? So, where is your friend? Can you tell me? I'm sorry, can you say that one more time? Yes? Teacher, you, do you have an answer for that question? Okay, so if I ask, where is your friend? What could be a possible answer? My friend is not. My, my friend is in his house. Okay, excellent. My friend is in his house. You can his see how we're using First. possessive adjectives. Okay, and who is on he? Or what if I ask who is Esmeralda? She, she is, is my is classmate. classmate. Okay, perfect. She is she my is classmate. My class. um, what if I ask, let's change here the, the city. If I ask, what is uh, Santa Ana like? 
It's really beautiful. Excellent. Thank you, Gerardo. It's a beautiful. Okay. It's really beautiful. It's a beautiful place. Um, where are, mm, let me remember, where are Alex um, and Josue from? Where from Santana? Sorry? They are from San Miguel. Uh, no, they are not. The, 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 the example is correct. However, they said yesterday that they are from? Santa Ana. Santa Ana. Perfect. Yes. We have like two more people from Santa Ana, if I'm not mistaken. Tenemos a dos más que son de Santa Ana, si no me equivoco. Yo. And who is yo? yo? Leslie. Yo, ah, we have Leslie and Francisco. Y Francisco. Yes. Thank you. So you can see that Francisco, Leslie, Josue, and Alex are from Santa Ana. Okay. Then we have, how are your classmates? It's interesting. My... Uh, no, I'm on this question. Uh, the one that I'm showing on the, on the screen. And it says, how are your classmates? They are interesting? My classmates is... Is or are? Why? My classmates My, are... Your class, they are. Your classmates are... They are. Uh -huh. They are. They are what? Very good. That's Very good. good. Okay. For example? <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. yes. I'm going to show you my answers in a few minutes, okay? And the last one, what are your classmates like? Hmm. Yeah, I know that probably this is the second day of classes. Eso sería como, ¿cómo serían tus compañeros, no? O ¿Cómo son? ¿Cómo son? Okay. okay. How would you they say? Are, they are friendly. They are friendly. They are very nice. Okay. Okay, excellent. Okay, so I have here the answers, some possible answers, okay, for the questions that we were just looking at. Where is your friend? He is in class. In class. Okay, who is son he? She's my classmate. Okay. Uh, what is Seoul like? It's a very exciting city. Perfect. Oops, sorry. Uh, then it says, where are you and Lisa from? I'm from Brazil. Okay. And how are your classmates? They're they are pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Okay, and what are your classmates like? They pretty nice. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, so we were discussing some of the examples that you just mentioned, and they were grammatically correct. O sea, grammaticalmente estaban correctos por la escritura. Me parece perfecto. Okay, so now I just need you to tell me if you have questions. Yo sí me sentí un poquito confundida. ¿En qué? Con el how y el what. How y what, ok. How are your classmates? ¿Cómo están sus compañeros? Uh -huh. Ok. And the other one, what does it say? Do you remember? So you and what are... What are your classmates like? Like. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what do we mean on that? ¿Qué es lo que queremos decir ahí entonces? ¿Qué es lo que te gusta de tus compañeros? Eso significa. Um, on that ¿Cómo one, son tus compañeros? Okay, thank you. Estamos preguntando que cómo okay. son 
Sus compañeros o compañeras. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Y cómo dirían ustedes que son sus compañeros? They are very nice. Ok, yes, that's an option. They are very nice. Another option. Así como se han visto ya en este segundo día, ¿cómo más diría que son sus compañeros? They are, they are intelig inteligentes. Ah, ok. They are? Intelligent. Ok, they are smart. What else? Are they talkative? Yes. Ok. ¿Hablan mucho sus compañeros? Sí. No, they are. <laughs> What are your classmates like? Ok, you said. Oops, sorry. They are. Talkative, you said. O sea, hablan mucho. Ok. Another option, you said, or another answer. They are? Intelligent. Intelligent. Thank you. What else can you tell me about your classmates? They are very kind. Ok. They are very kind. Oops. And one more. They are friendly. Okay, excellent. They are? Friendly. Friendly. Okay. And the other question, what did it say? How okay. are your classmates? Okay, so how are your classmates today? Mm -hmm. A possible answer? They are fine. Okay, they're fine. What else? Mm. They are right. Great. Ah, great. They are great. Okay. They I are will... busy. Ah, perfect. They are, they are busy. And they are, you are cold? happy. Okay, they're happy. They are tired. And I can also bet that they are cold. Aren't you? O no tienen frío ahora? Sí. Yes. Ajá. Poco. Ok. Yes. A little. That's a little. Ok. That's why I said that you are cold or they are cold. So basically that's the difference between mm -hmm. these two questions. Ok. What are your okay. classmates like? You said that it means. ¿Qué dijeron que significa la primera pregunta? ¿Cómo son tus compañeros? Ok. And the second one. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo, están? ¿Cómo están? Perfect. Okay. Perfect. So, what we are going to do right now, because I really need you to listen to you practicing, is to work in breakout rooms, okay? I need you to practice WH questions and also possessive adjectives, okay? You can create a short conversation making use of the WH questions and possessive adjectives. And you can make it up about anything you want, okay? Pueden inventar la conversación de lo que ustedes quieran. ¿Alguna pregunta? No? Okay, so I'm going to start right now and I'm going to be there listening to you, okay? Okay, thank you.
Hola, Josué. Hola, hola, ¿qué tal, compañera? Muy bien, ¿y usted? ¿Cómo le fue ahora en el trabajo? Pues, super good. <risa> practicáramos eh, oraciones o pre preguntas ocupando la el wh eh, what, que puede ser why where what eh, how y también vamos a, 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 a practicar los eh, pronombres pos posesivos pronombres o adjetivos adjetivos perdón perdón okay. adjetivos okay. posesivos ya, Perfect. Sí. Okay. okay. How are you? I am fine. And you? Pero mire, me olvidó preguntarle el nombre usted porque no me lo sé. <laughs> What is your name? <laughs> My name is Francisco Lázaro. Oh, Francisco. How old are you? Um, I'm 20. Five years old. Okay. And you? I'm 42 years old. Come? Where do you, I'm 42 years old. Cuatro dos, cuarenta dos. Okay. Ah. <laughs> 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 Entendía. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Where are you from, Lázaro? I am from Santa Ana. Oh, and you? Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Cuscatlán. Okay. What are your hobbies? Uh, my hobbies um, listen to music. My hobbies? My hobby is hobby or hobby? Hobby. Ah, okay. Uh, my hobby are listen to music and to sing. No sé, cantar, teacher. Sing. 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 Uh, sería sing tú. Uh, okay, so if you're talking about your hobbies, my hobbies are listening to music. And singing. Okay. Sería con el ING. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Where do you work or study? Uh, what is your favorite food? Mm. My favorite food is Mexican. 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 My favorite food is pizza. Excuse me, I no listen. My favorite food is pizza. 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 Okay. My favorite My food is Pupusa. My favorite food is the ramen. Okay.
Hi, Gerardo. Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Okay, I assign you to a breakup room. You just need to accept the invitation. Lo agregué ahí a un grupo, ¿verdad? No sé si le salió la notificación para que aceptar. Sí, pero eh, la plataforma me sacó. ¿En serio? Sí, así que tuve que volver a entrar. Ah, ok. Por eso que estoy aquí. Va, déjeme moverla ahorita. Vaya, ahí le va a salir para que le dé a aceptar. ¿Le sale la invitación? No, aún no. Ok, va, déjenme ver entonces. Vaya, ¿y ahora? No, Tisha. Tampoco. No le sale nada ahí. No, al principio cuando cuando la mandó, sí, Ajá. pero eh, me salí de la plataforma, como le digo, pero ahorita no. Ya no le sale. No. Ok. So I'm going to stop the mall. La voy a detener entonces ahorita. And we're going to be practicing while all of them get here. So tell me, you can begin if you want. Okay, so let's listen to you. Do I have volunteers? Yes? Hola. Okay, thank you. Thank so you. we have Esmeralda that raised her hand. I work con, with Karen, Leslie, and Brian. Okay, perfect. So let's listen to you. Okay. Um, let's, well, voy a trabajar con Leslie. Okay, perfect. Okay. What's your name? Leslie, can you hear us? My name is Leslie. Nice to meet where, you. Where are you from, Leslie? I'm from Santa Ana. Okay. Where are you from, Esmeralda? I'm from San Salvador. What is your favorite what? food? My favorite food is Mexican. And you, Leslie? My favorite food is Pupusas. Oh, really? Interesting. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Okay, beautiful. Where are you working, Only Miranda? Uh, I know work. I where know. are you work or where do you work? Where do you work? Okay, perfect. I know work in this moment. Uh, teacher, uh, how do you say um, ama de casa? Uh, housewife. housewife. Yes. Housewife. Okay. So don't say that you don't work. No diga que no trabaja porque es uh -huh. mentira. El trabajo en okay. casa nunca, nunca, <laughs> nunca, nunca se acaba. So don't say <laughs> that. 
Yes. It is yes. a little bit harder and it is not paid. Es más complicado y no es pagado. Así que no diga que no trabaja porque sí lo hace. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Ok, perfect. Let's see. Uh, who's next? Um, Esmeralda and Leslie, choose any of your classmates. Escojan a cualquiera de sus compañeros. Francisco. Okay, okay Francisco. And Esmeralda, choose another one. Gerardo. Okay, Gerardo, perfect. Okay, uh, uh, Gerardo, what's your complete name? My name is Gerardo Alfaro. Complete? Gerardo so Arsenio. Ah, okay. Alfaro Gomez. Nice to meet you, Gerardo. Nice, nice to meet you too. Where are you from? I'm from San Vicente. Oh, and nice you? place. I am from Santa Ana. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is orange. And you? My favorite color is green. Hopeless. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, what your, is your What is what, your favorite animal? My favorite animal is the eagle. And what's your favorite uh, hobby? My favorite hobby is, is watch social media. Is watching? Watching social media. Okay. And where do you work or study? I actually uh, study English. Okay. Perfect. And you? I work in Priaves. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So now, la, uh, sorry, Francisco and Gerardo, choose another person. Okay, uh, Raquel. Okay. Daphne. And, okay, thank you. Hi, Raquel. Hello, Daphne. Hello. How are you today? Very good. And you? I'm a good too. And where where are you from? I'm from in San Martin. Where are you from, Daphne? I'm from Soyapango. Oh, really? Um, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is hamburger. How about you? Perfect. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is black. And you? My favorite color is purple. And how old are you? I have um, 37 years old. I'm 19 years old. Okay. And how are your family? Mm, very good. How is your, your family? family? Sorry. <laughs> okay, perfect. Nice to meet you, Daphne. Nice to meet you too. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, okay. Just remember something that we talked about yesterday. And we said that when we are talking about age, we are going to use the verb to be. 
¿ok? Algo que dijimos ayer es que cuando hablamos de nuestra edad, usamos el verbo to be, ¿ok? So we say I am, uh, in this case you said 37 years old, or I am 19 years old, I am uh, 42 years old, and so on, ¿ok? Another one, we mentioned that when we're talking the place of origin, we said I am from Soyapango, you said. Or I am from La Libertad, for example. Okay? No necesitamos lo que es el in. Okay? Okay, um, and do you have any questions or is everything clear? No question. Okay, entonces hasta este momento no hay preguntas de lo que hemos visto. But I have a question. Okay, what's your question? Uh, we can say, for example, you ask me uh, where are you from, for example. Yes. And I, and I tell you I'm from El Salvador, but when I want to tell you something, how to explain it? Como algo más específico, I can say I'm from El Salvador and I live in Santa Ana. Por ejemplo. Okay. Yes, no sé you si can. Sería, uh, ajá, eso quería preguntarle. No sé si es correcto o en realidad es mucho mejor decir I'm from Santa Ana. Vaya, en el caso como todos nosotros estamos en El Salvador, yo les decía que podemos mencionar nuestro lugar de origen o la ciudad. So, for example, Gerardo said that he is from San Vicente. Um, we have that Francisco, Leslie, you and Josué are from Santa Ana. Santa Ana. Yes, we have, let me see, Daphne, she is from Soyapango. Um, I don't remember who told me that it's from Mexicanos. ¿Quién me dijo que era de Mexicanos? No one. Me, teacher. Ah, okay. So Karen is from Mexicanos. Okay. Para no estar con eso de que todos vamos a decir I'm from El Salvador, I'm from El Salvador, porque creo que todos somos salvadoreños. Pero sí, o sea, con el where are you from, no solamente hablo de lo que es el país, sino también de lo que es la ciudad. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok, another question. Hola. Sí. No tengo una consulta, pero referente a las guías que tenemos que resolver. Sí. En el 1.12, me está dando, o sea, todas me las da como, como malas. Y ya probé de todas las formas, entonces no sé realmente si, si lo estoy haciendo mal o cómo debe ser la respuesta correcta. Ah, ok, sí. Ahí con la 1.12 tenemos yes, no, long answers with B. O sea, son respuestas largas. No solamente es no, I'm not, or yes, I am, sino que pero, tienen... Pero lo he hecho de, de todas las formas. Lo he hecho de la forma corta, la forma larga, poniendo, por ejemplo, digamos, yes, I am, y luego volviendo a, a responder todo, o yes, I am from United States, por ejemplo, y poniéndole... Hola. Ok, vaya, solo le, le voy a enseñar así, because I already answered it. Yo ya lo respondí. So we have, are you from the United States? And the answer that I have is no, I'm not from the United States. So on the second one, is your teacher from Canada? Siempre se lo da malo. Va, entonces hagamos algo. Tómele una captura de pantalla y envíenla. Así yo lo reporto. Teacher. Ajá. Lo que... A veces también lo que pasa es que, que no hay punto, no colocamos el punto, el punto al final de la, de la palabra. Vaya, por ejemplo, a mí eso me sucedió 
en una, en unas, por ejemplo, no sé si fue en esa misma, pero era porque no había colocado punto al final de la, de de la, la oración. Respuesta. Ah, ok. ¿Sí? Punto final. También, teacher, a veces es el apóstrofe. Ajá. Ajá. Ajá también sí, es de tener cuidado que sea el apóstrofe y no una tilde. Ok. Ajá. Va, pero sí, intente otra vez y si le da el mismo problema, no me lo dice para así reportarlo. Ok. Okay. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No. Va, no. ok. Sí, no hay más preguntas. Nos quedamos hasta acá el día de hoy entonces. Thank you so much for coming and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.